Welcome to Blossoming by Grace and Grit. We are on 31 days of prayer series, and today we are going to pray for your children and for the children of the world. Let us pray. Father God, thank you so much, my Father, for the children of the world, my Father, for the children that you have created with such care, with so much love, with so much attention, my God. Father God, the children of the world, my Father, you love them when you walk this earth. You love them. You would spend time with them. You would sit with them. You would go down to their level. You would play with them, my Father. And Lord God, I know that the children of the world are of great value to you. My God, it says in Colossians 1 that we have not ceased to pray for you and to ask that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding so that we can walk in a manner worthy of the Lord to please him in all respects, bearing fruit in every good work and in increasing in the knowledge of God. Our children and young adults are desperately seeking for identity and purpose and they're asking questions like who am I and what makes me different and what is the purpose, my purpose in this world, my father. In fact, in this country, our youth is experiencing a great identity crisis. And due to the pressures of school and social media and all of the different uh, medias, my father, young people have no idea who they are and they feel compelled to try to be someone else. Oftentimes when they see on social media, they look at different sites and those sites tell them that they're not good enough, that their clothes, their homes, their cars, and even their bodies need to be different in order to be better. My father, the identity of our children is being attacked, my father. Their sexuality is being attacked, oh God. It is the first thing, my father, our identity that God establishes about us, that you establish, my father, our identity in you we are made in your image each of us is known by our father god who has a design for our lives within his perfect plan lord thank you for your promise to bless our children because of your blessing our children will find their true identity and sense of purpose in belonging to you their father and creator Please silence the negative voices telling our students that they're worthless or unwanted, telling our kids, my father, that they cannot find identity and purpose outside, Father God, of your plan for their life. The world wants to say that your plan and your way and your design is not correct, my father, and you have a unique design and plan for every one of those children. We ask that those plans may be preserved to give them a future and a hope in Jeremiah 29, 11. Lord, mighty God, we pray for our future leaders to raise up young people with godly purposes and destinies to contend for the future of our nation. May many great young leaders like Moses and jo uh, Joseph and Joshua, Daniel, Ruth and Esther arrive arise from our schools to bring justice and truth to every sector of society. Raise up, my Father, those men and women, those young people that are going to speak the gospel, that are going to fight to bring back prayers in the school, to bring back God to the schools, my Father. Lord God in heaven, Father God, may those children, may those young people children father god and young adults my father bring a revival my father to the schools my father i thank you lord god and we pray for revelation of truth for our children about who they really are in you we pray that they my god will receive this revelation my father that they will stand firm that they are young men and young women my god and that Father God, this revelation of truth to our children about who they really are, my God, will be their protection, my Father. 
Father God, from all false information about their purpose, their sexuality, and your design for their lives. We ask you to raise up spiritual watchmen, fathers, mothers, teachers, school leaders who will watch and pray and be a voice of truth in our schools. We declare in Jesus' name, my Father, that this will be a year of blessing, revelation, and refreshing, and new identity in God's original design for all kids, my Father. Father God, you so created man mankind in, in your own image, in the image of God he created them, male and female he created them, Genesis 1.27. Sexuality was once an educational responsibility of parents, and now this very important topic has moved not just in the mainstream of education but also to the extreme lord god it is no longer the responsibility father god once being of the parents now the responsibility is of strangers is of other people that don't even know who they are and they're trying to teach the children your children my god about sexuality men and women that cannot even have children they want to teach your kids and the children of the world about their own sexuality my god i pray my father that that the schools that are bringing the drag queens to teach students about alternative lifestyles calling them models of diversity that these people father god the drag queen story hour is being pushed in the agenda into the educational system, my father. I pray, oh God, that intercessors rise up for their kids, the kids of the world, my father, the kids, my father, that are being indoctrinated. They are being indoctrinated with agendas, my God, of perversion, with agendas of wickedness, my father, with agendas of darkness, my God, and lies, my God, that have to do with their identity, my father, with their sexuality, which is such an important topic since sexuality and personality and gender and sex is so interrelated is intercorrelated my god that if there is confusion my father in an area that can destroy and deter the path of a young mind my father when they don't know who they are lord god in heaven i pray my father that you would bring mighty men and women to speak the truth my father Lord, we recognize that we don't battle against mere flesh and blood, but we are battling against spiritual powers in heavenly places. And this spiritual agenda to destroy the innocence and the purity of our children and corrupt them and lead them down the wrong path with regard to their God-given sexuality and identity is a plan from the pit of hell and a plan from Satan himself. God, as we face these enemy forces, Forces. We ask that you would lead our children, Father God, lead them out of any sexual sin. We declare that you have promised to preserve the godly inheritance of parents and of our nation. And that heritage is our children, the children of the world, the new generation, the future generation, my Father, that they may be filled with purity, with light and with truth, my God not with perversiveness, my Father, not with wickedness, my Father, that doesn't pertain in schools. These are agendas, these are adult agendas, that if they want to be perverted, if they want to have these types of alternative lifestyles, then it's their choosing, but leave our children alone. You cannot have them satan we declare to you that these children belong to god they don't belong to you in the mighty name of jesus we pray that laws for the curriculum transparency would be enacted in every state we pray that teachers school boards administrators and counselors would be required to be held accountable to notify parents regarding surveys offered to students books to read or speakers that will be coming in we pray that all deception and efforts made to secretly influence and corrupt our children would be exposed and brought into the light in jesus name 
See Matthew 10, 26 and Luke 12, 2. Lord, we pray for our children that your spirit would fill them with a desire and a value for purity. Help them to stand strong against peer pressure and the lies of the enemy of our soul. My God, my God. In the last few years, my Lord, the assault on truth has escalated, my God. Parents across the nation have risen up to reclaim truth in their school districts. As the praying church, we need to stay united. We need to pray for our children, our teachers, and our school boards, that these destructive agendas do not make their way into the curriculum or into the local schools. Lord, we ask you to shine your light upon the schools, my Father, of each and every child, my God, and that you drive out all of the darkness, the spiritual blindness, the perversion of truth, and the hostility towards you and to your truth and to your word, O oh God. We pray that all attempts to use the curriculum in our schools as a way to disciple our young people in humanism, moral relevance and other godless ideologies would be stopped. We pray that our education system would honor you. We ask you to raise up godly men and women to be on the textbook selection committees for every school district in our nation. We ask for teachers and school boards to select curriculum that preserves our godly heritage as a nation. This nation was founded in godly heritage, my father. We had mighty men and women Women, Father God, in my God, in the nation, leading the nation, and they, many of them, were God fearing men and women, my Father. And this nation was surrounded and blessed in a mighty way, my Father. And this nation, my God, the United States of America, had. had would lead a godly regard my father to the uh, to the uh, prayers and to godly my god values and moral father god teachings my god in the school and outside of schools my god there was a tremendous my father blessing upon this country the the, the peace and the grace and the mercy my god and the compassion upon this country my father my god my god and i pray oh god that that will return again Father, we ask you to lead those in positions of decision making in our schools and in the, our children's schools to set fair policies that protect the rights of the teachers and the students to openly present their biblical points of view, Father God, in a fair and non-threatening manner. Father, we ask you, Lord God, to give the teachers that are confronted with subject matter, my God, for them to stand up, my God, for biblical worldviews, my God. And we ask that you give them the right word to speak in wisdom and strength and gentleness, my God. In Malachi, Father God, 4, 6, it says that you will return, that you will turn the hearts of the parents to their children and the ch hearts of the children to their parents, or else I will come and strike the land with total destruction. That means, my Father, that when children are being destroyed, there is a curse upon the land. When children are being killed with abortions, my Father, and there are agendas to... Uh, for the sexual promiscuity of children, for the sexual exploitation of children, my father, that there will be a curse in the land, my father. You hold with very high regard our children, the children of the world, and your children, listener, right now in the name of Jesus. We need to pray for our children. We need to pray for the children of the world. And we ask you, Lord God, for families that are the cornerstone of society, my God, that the families where there is a support system that is strong, children will thrive. But when the support system and families are weak, children will struggle. Children will be robbed, my father. Children will be spoken to. They will have shiny objects in front of them and they will go astray, my God. They will go astray, God. We ask you, Father, that we thank you for what you're doing in all the families today and we bring before you every family struggling and in pain, whether from divorce, poverty, unemployment, drug use, 
alcohol abuse, or domestic violence. Bring healing, comfort, and provision to these broken and hurting homes. My God, Lord, we lift up to you the children who are homeless, that are staying in shelters on the streets or living in cars. Father, you have a father's heart, and your heart is for the destitute and the vulnerable. And we ask you that you help these students and their families in a powerful way as only you can. According to your word, my father, in Malachi 4, 6, we cry out for the hearts of the fathers, for them to be turned to their children, and the hearts of the children to be turned to their fathers. We pray for those parents who simply lack the motivation, the sense of responsibility or parenting skills to raise their children well, break off apathy or helplessness and show them where they can find help, O oh God. Please bring good parenting role models into the lives of young people today, of teen moms who may not have them while growing up. We lift up those parents, my Father, who are doing their best, my God, who are working two jobs, my Father, who are basically not at home because they have to provide for their families. I pray, O oh God, that you incorporate children, my God, in programs with other families, my Father, so that they can have study groups while their parents are working, that they would find good Father God, people, men and women, to take care of each other's children, my Father, that they would find women to help other women with their children, my Father. My God, I pray that you would raise up effectual fathers and mothers and that they pray, my God, that you bring positive godly role models into the lives of children who need them. My God, we give you, my Father, we give you the honor, the praise, and the glory, my God. We ask you, my Father, we ask you to give your peace and your grace upon every family that is struggling right now to provide for their children. Every family that is struggling, my God, because there is abuse in the home, there is whatever situation there can be in the home i just pray father god your healing your grace to be upon them lord god thank you my father thank you for blessing thank you for keeping father god safe every child my father every child oh god that belongs to you my father that you will lead them and guide them and protect them my god raise a mighty generation of young people today my father that will bring revival to this nation my god that will bring you back into the schools back into the homes and the country and the nation in the mighty name of jesus we thank you and we bless you in jesus name. Amen. The goodness of God is all around us. And if you want to receive and to be able to enjoy the goodness of God and all that it entails, the blessings, the peace, the joy, I invite you to receive Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. The goodness of God is available to you today. If you have not received Jesus, do not wait. Do it today. Do not wait to be perfect or rich. Do not wait to have a bigger house or a better job and have everything right in your life. Do it today, my friend. It is my honor to lead you in this prayer. And you might think that this is so simple. How can a simple prayer make something so important? Like receiving Jesus as my Lord and Savior. How can that be? Jesus made this process so easy and yet it is so powerful. So follow me in this prayer. Father God, thank you so much for Jesus Christ, your son. I believe that he died and he bled and 
that he resurrected on the third day. I realize that I am a sinner and I ask you forgiveness for my sins. I ask you to be my Lord and my Savior. Make something wonderful of my life as I promise to follow you from this day forward. Amen. My friend, if you've done that prayer, if you've said that prayer, there is a celebration in heaven as heaven celebrates with the repentance of every sinner. Congratulations. You are now part of the family of God.